So today I want to go over some new information Blizzard has released on Woo Gear, and Woo Gear is a Warbound until equipped. And before this expansion was released, I went over some of the information we had on this new type of gear, and I said that I thought it would be one of the biggest changes to alt gearing in the game's history, and I think that has been true. Just a personal anecdote, but none of the characters I have at level 80 right now are cloth users, and because of how much Woo Gear I've been getting, I have pretty much a full set of level 80 gear for my first cloth character that hits level 80. And that currently means that that cloth character would be right around the item level of all of my other level 80s. Now that's not going to necessarily stay the same as we get into season one and get into much harder content, but I think the idea is still going to be there. The gearing up new alts and keeping them much more up to date is going to be substantially easier than it's ever been in the game history. And some of this new information makes this system much more interesting. So first off, they did give us a little bit of additional information on some of the specifics on how to get some of this Wu gear. So first off, as you may have seen if you've been killing a lot of rares in the War Within, is that many rare creatures identified with this silver star on your minimap can drop Wu gear when defeated. This is where a large chunk of the Warbound gear I've been getting has come from. A lot of these rares just have a decent chance to give you it and I think most of the end game rares if they actually give you a piece of gear it usually ends up being woo gear it doesn't usually end up being bind on pickup and then they gave some additional information that your first lamplighter's supply satchel each week will also obtain one adventurer piece of woo gear. Now this is the open world event in Hollowfall where you have to go kill enemies to get the resource to light up those big crystals. And there's just tons of daily quests in this area that will all give you that bag that just usually gives you a small amount of crystals. But the first one each week will also give you that piece of woo gear. Now I'm not actually sure if this means a first satchel per account or per character. I don't actually remember if I've gotten a guaranteed one on all of my different characters. But as mentioned in this post, the most important source of this gear is every raid dungeon in Delve. So in addition to regular gear rolls, the War Within adds a bonus roll to every raid boss, every final dungeon boss, and every bountiful chest in a Delve to give you a piece of woo gear in addition to any other. This bonus roll is independent of the normal roll, which means you could get either one or both. Getting this Wu gear isn't instead of anything, it's just a bonus. So this clarifies a little bit on exactly how you're going to be able to get this gear. So every raid boss, which is actually pretty crazy, because I think this also means that just having at least a handful of characters that you run multiple difficulties of the raid on will absolutely just be the best way to save up a bunch of Wu gear for any new characters you want to get to 80 and try out. Every final boss of a dungeon, I I think is specifically there to try to stop people from leaving after killing like the first boss which seems to be happening a lot more in this expansion for some reason and then every bountiful chest in a delve now if i'm not mistaken you can only do one bountiful delve per zone until it resets to a new delve which i think is like once a day or a handful of times a day but i'm not 100 certain on that now that brings us to the information, which is the main reason I wanted to make this video, because we got some more specifics on the actual Wu gear that will be dropping from certain content. So if you get a piece of Wu gear from a raid boss, it will always be gear from that boss's loot table. This is one of the biggest changes that I didn't think was going to be happening, because a lot of the beta testers that were testing this out weren't getting raid specific gear drops, so they were just getting like random pieces pieces of gear. And I also mentioned in my video going over this before the expansion that I figured it would just be generic gear. Like if you boost up a new character, they have a full generic set of gear. I didn't expect that it would be gear specific from that boss's loot table. This means you could say go defeat the final boss of a raid and get a lower item level piece of woo gear of the best trinket in the game of the end boss, which is pretty crazy and makes getting this gear just so much more exciting 
everything. So now you could just get the craziest, rarest pieces of gear from the raid, and that would absolutely make you want to go gear up an alt. And then we got some more specifics on the item levels or the upgrade tracks these pieces are going to be dropping as. So in Raid Finder, the Wu gear will drop as Veteran 1, which is currently gear that starts at epic quality. You can get a handful of these pieces from the Renown tracks. I think these are 584 at a baseline. So that is what you'll be getting as Wu gear from LFR. In normal, this Wu gear will drop on the Veterans track with the same starting value as a bind on pickup champion pieces. So this is a little bit confusing, but this means in LFR, you'll be getting veteran gear at upgrade rank one, so that 584. But the Wu gear that drops in normal will also be on the veteran track, but it will be halfway upgraded. I think that either means upgrade four or potentially upgrade five. I think more specifically, it'll probably be upgrade five, but it'll still be on the same track. This just means a higher starting item level, but you won't be able to upgrade that gear as much. And then in Heroic, the rules are the same as normal, except the Wu gear is champion track, which just means it'll be the next track above veterans. So Heroic Wu gear will start at rank one of the champion track. And then if you go into Mythic Raid, the drop Wu gear is always champion four. So halfway through the upgrade track of champion four. Now this also means that going into like a Mythic Raid is not going to be giving you super high item level gear. Now this is generally what I expected. I thought that they may allow you to get gear just one upgrade track below, but this seems to not be the case. And I think the reason for this is they don't want you going and running a mythic raid and just getting heroic raid gear, which not only could potentially be giving you upgrades for the character you're currently playing. Like if you say do a heroic raid and then go into a mythic raid, there could potentially still be a bunch of heroic pieces you could get as upgrades. So if you could just get one upgrade track below in Mythic, you could still potentially be getting yourself upgrades, but that would also mean that you're basically just bringing any alts directly to Mythic rating from getting Wu drops from Mythic rating. And I don't think they want you to be able to gear up alts that quickly. Now, if you're doing Mythic rating and you're getting Wu drops, this should bring your characters up to easily being able to do heroic raid, which I think is completely fine for all catch-up gear. This isn't supposed to be your alt is now fully heroic gear. This is supposed to be catch up gear to get you into more difficult and more challenging content much more easily. And I also give a little bit more clarification on gear outside of raid bosses. So if you get a woo piece of gear from the final boss of a dungeon, it will be gear from any boss in that dungeon, which is pretty important. So if you miss your chance to get a piece you want from the first boss, stick around to try to get a woo version from the end boss. Now, I don't think this a lower item level woo gear is going to keep people in dungeons past the first boss if they want to leave in the first place once season one starts. Right now it could because right now you'd be getting the same item level of gear from the dungeon as you're getting as a woo drop and this will also stay true even when heroics get a higher item level with season one and even with mythic zeros coming out which are going to be much more difficult and give much higher item level gear this expansion because of the dungeon changes. But once we all get into mythic plus I don't think this is going to matter that much and then if you get a woo piece of gear from a heavy trunk of the delve, which are from the Bountiful Delves, it will be any gear you could otherwise have gotten from that delve. Now, I'm not actually sure on the specific loot tables of delves. I'm pretty sure these are sharing gear with like all the open world gear you could get from doing like world quests or any other open world activities, but I'm not sure if that gear is split between all the different delves and if those different delves have different gear drops they can give you, or if it's all just a shared loot pool. But that's all the new information released by Blizzard on boot gear. And I do think my opinion before the expansion holds true. I think this Warbound into Equip gear completely changes how gearing alts has been working. Like I mentioned, I have pretty much a full set of gear for my first cloth character that hits level 80. That'll just mean that I legitimately get that character up to the item level of all of my level 80 characters right now. Again, the gear won't be that easy once season one starts because you won't get that high item level of gear compared to your mains, but you'll also just be able to get any drops from any dungeon bosses or raid bosses. So 
he could go be running raids, get some crazy trinket or some weapon with a crazy good proc. And that'll make you want to go make an alt, level it up and get it to the point where they can use that new gear. Because even if you're not getting the highest item level of gear as this Wu gear, being able to get some of these rarer items or some of these just super strong trinkets or weapons with a really good proc could absolutely give your alt the ability to do much higher content than that item level may normally allow. So I'm very excited to start spamming mythic pluses and do raid and just see how much Wu gear we're actually going to be getting. But that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.